Welcome back to Q&A Sundays, and Q&A Sundays are the days of the week that I answer your questions about GTA, about me, about the channel, and about pretty much anything that I know the answer to. But before we get into today's video, make sure to hit that subscribe button, it massively helps the channel. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers, so any help you can give is massively appreciated. Question one is realistic vehicle speeds in GTA 6. They should take inspiration from the car YouTube channel, Carwell. Uh, yeah, I think that the speeds should be more realistic. There's a lot of cars in the game that like their top speeds are the same as some of the supercars in the game and it doesn't really make sense. Hopefully they'll do a lot more research into the vehicles and also the sound design for the vehicles so we get some more realistic vehicle sounds. I hope so anyway. And Carwell is a great channel. Follow up question, realistic vehicle damage? This was far superior in GTA 4. Yeah, I'm hoping we get a hybrid of GTA 4 and GTA 5. I'm hoping we get some of the vehicle damage from GTA 4, but a little bit more influenced by the handling and drivability from GTA 5. I think it needs to be right in between 4 and 5 for it to be really cool. Next question is, have you watched the Putin interview? If so, what are your thoughts on it? No, nope, I haven't. Um, I've been you know, getting out of video every day. Out of all of the leaked footage you spent hours watching, what's something you didn't see that maybe you expected to? Um, to be honest, I didn't really set any like preset expectations of what we'd see in the leaked footage because I wasn't even expecting to see leaked footage at all. I think because it was development footage and it was from the developers just messing around on the back end of the game engine, there was a lot of stuff where the character was stood still where they were just messing with stuff in the settings. So a lot of the footage didn't really consist of a lot of stuff anyway. Um, there was a few unique details in there, but nothing major. But if you think about it, that was 90 videos from a Slack messaging channel. Imagine the other 99.999% of stuff that's actually going to be in the game that we didn't even see from the leaks. Just a thought. Not a question, but I got my Cyberboy shirt today and it's absolutely awesome. Can't wait to wrap it this weekend. Awesome. Thank you so much for placing an order. If anyone else wants merch, you can get it in the top right hand side of the screen. There's all sorts of stuff on the site there will be more stuff being added probably next month but um yeah thank you so much hey man really don't have a question but keep doing q a sundays they lit thank you so much i will keep doing them everyone seems to love them so far two questions do you think gta 6 will win game of the year yeah like you could have the next best selling game come out in the same year and it would still win of course it will and do you think the jump from red dead redemption 2 to gta 6 will be bigger than the jump from gta 5 to red dead redemption 2 oh that is a really good question ah i wasn't ready for that <laughs> He asked something else. I think yes, because they're different sorts of games. So I think in my opinion that the jump from Red Dead Redemption 2 to GTA 6 will be bigger than the jump from GTA 5 to Red Dead Redemption 2. Not by a lot, but by a bit. When the online portion of GTA 6 releases, do you think there should be more emphasis on guns and bullets like turreted vehicles over explosives in PvP? Weaponized vehicles like the Mark II Ruiner and any of the land vehicle that shoots missiles are a big reason PvP has gone to hell along with the on-foot explosive spam. Like Rockstar is scared to give weaponized vehicles strong built guns that shoot bullets. Uh, I'm honestly, I'm scared of answering this one because there's two sides to it. Like, I understand that, like, stuff like the Mark II, the, the Ruiner 2000 and everything, they add an element of fun to the game, um, and I get it for a younger audience. But for me, like, I just don't play GT Online anymore. Like, I stopped probably six months to a year ago. I just don't bother because it's just all about futuristic stuff now. It's about making a really engaging game for younger audiences to play, and it's not really Grand Theft Auto anymore. So I hope that they don't bring that in. But I also understand that they're a business, they've got to make money and they've got to capitalise. So I'm hoping that they can have two separate things where it's like, cool, here's for the hardcore GTA fans. Cool, here's for the new audiences that we're trying to attract. I'm hoping that's the way they do it. Do you think Pitbull and Flow Rider will be in GTA 6? They're both from Florida. Pitbull also is especially from Miami, so it makes sense. Either their songs could be featured or they could be radio hosts. I think that there will be some reference to Pitbull and Flow Rider. Like, they are massive staples of Florida. Whether it's just their songs on a radio or even a cameo, I'm not too sure. But, but yeah, I'm hoping that there will be some reference because funny. Do you think that the map will be two times the size of GTA 5? My second question is will GTA have more things to do like side activities? Yeah, I think it's pretty like based on the spoiler alert by the way, based on the information that we had from the leaks, there's so many side missions and side quests and random world events, like more than there were in Red Dead Redemption 2 and that's just what we saw from the leaks. So I think there'll be more of that and map size, I think like it's two times the size, but the actual base plate of the map is only a little bit bigger, but there's like more land mass within it and also more things happening within the water based on what we've seen so far. So yeah, I think it'd be about one and a half, maybe up to two times the size. Hey man, been watching the content for a while now and it's the only good content for GTA 6 I've seen for a while. Thank you so much, dude. That means a lot. I have two questions. What characters from previous GTA games do you think will return? And do you think there'll be third character as if Jason and Sia are in relationship and it could restrict things like strip clubs? Ooh, I don't know. I think that there may be a third 
third protagonist. Because if you look back to GTA 5, the leaks and speculation we had before that releasing, everyone was a million percent confident we'll have two protagonists. And then we ended up with Michael, Franklin and Trevor. And yeah, until like further trailers dropped, we weren't aware that there was more playable characters. But also from the leaks, we saw them controlling other characters. You know, they could just be development models, but... I don't know. I think there'll be more than two protagonists and I'm probably 50-50 on that. I'm not too sure. I did a video kind of explaining my thoughts and reasoning behind that, which you can see in the top right. And also characters that may return. I think in DLC in the future, we might get like some GTA 5 characters in a DLC, like maybe Michael or Franklin or something like that. We won't see a DLC for Trevor because Stephen Ogg is like actively hates Grand Theft Auto now. <laughs> He's been very clear on interviews. He hates being referred to as Trevor. He used to be okay with it back in the day, but one day a switch just went and he, he yeah, he doesn't want anything to do with it now which sucks but i think we might have a cameo appearance from that guy in gta 4 the homeless guy that found all the diamonds obviously he said he was going off to vice city to uh, set up a pawn shop and a gun store so maybe we'll have a cameo from that other than that i'm not too sure but i do think there'll be references to other entries in the gta franchise do you believe we're going to see the gym in gta 6 again yes i looking at the trailer looking at the different sizes shapes and different character types that we can see it's very clear that rockstar are putting an emphasis on different body sizes and different body types so i think there's going to be more personalization we can do to our character whether that means taking our character to the gym or maybe having a supplement that we have in like our inventory which helps them lose weight or something like that i think that's something that rockstar would definitely dabble with do you think it's possible for rockstar to make gta 6 run at 60 frames per second on the ps5 and the current gen xbox no <laughs> well not impossible from my understanding my limited understanding of console hardware i don't think it's very likely at all i think we're realistically going to get like a 30 frames per second which also that's not like the end of the world like if you're playing first First person shooters I get it because everything from lag to latency but I did a full video about frame rates and GTA 6 and what is and what isn't important so you can watch that in the top right how intricate do you want heist to be in GTA 6 slash GTA 6 online should there be like the OG heist where you have to do them one way or the KO Perigo heist where you get more freedom or should they revamp it and give you even more freedom love your videos you get to 100k in no time if you keep the amazing work ethic thank you so much I'm trying trying to get there trying to get to 10k first focus on 10k then we'll focus on 20 then we'll focus on 50 then we'll aim for 100 <laughs> um, I think the high should be way more intricate. I think we should have different options as a player to like make different decisions that will affect the outcome and also the process of the heist. I think Rockstar have always struggled with a lot of their mission structures being very linear. And I'm hoping that we can have multiple ways to do these missions and tasks where there are different variables that will affect your playable experience. So for example, you could go through and play GTA 6 over again and have a different experience than you had the first time. I think the payout should be more realistic. I think the actual heist themselves should be way more intricate. So yeah, I'm with you on that one. What do you think will happen to the crime scenes in GTA 6? Do you think the police and medical staff will arrive and block the road like what happens in the films? I hope so, because there's been, like, GTA 5 had a bit of a dead zone where it was a bit boring. Nothing really happened. You could blow up a whole street of traffic and cars would still arrive. Looking at a patent that was recently filed by Take-Two Interactive for their traffic system, which I also did a video about that. That's in the top right. They are definitely looking at ways to create road blockages and traffic and stuff like that and more advanced systems. So, yeah, I think we will see more realistic approach to real-world events. What hardware do you think would be required to play GTA 6 on the max details plus your PC specs? Firstly, absolutely no idea. No one really has any ideas. We know that's going to be a pretty intensive game for consoles, so I assume it's also going to be pretty intensive for most PCs. Also, I don't have a gaming PC. I edit everything on a MacBook Pro. Well, I say just MacBook Pro, but it's like, it's <laughs> it's a pretty high spec one. But um, yeah, I don't have a gaming PC at the moment. I am looking at saving up for one. But I've explained in previous videos, like I, you know, I've got a lot of other things to pay for. And now making this my full-time job, I need to be able to put some money aside to pay bills and stuff so a pc will be coming in the like the next six months or so uh originally i was aiming for like now but there's a lot of things to save up for how would you feel about off-roading in gta 6 and are you looking forward to it i was a big fan of off-roading in gta 5 but i wasn't totally happy with the physics in gta 5 it felt very unrealistic to me for example would you like to see a supercar getting stuck in the mud rather than being able to go through it faster than an off-road vehicle is capable or the fact you could drive up the steepest hill in gta 5 in a supercar without problem but you're a hindered off-roading vehicle which would struggle to climb the same hill were you happy with the off-roading physics from gta 5 i'll be honest i haven't really put any thought into it <laughs> um i understand your points though uh, i think there definitely should be some advantage to having an off-road vehicle and an off-road vehicle should be better at climbing steep surfaces than a supercar whether rockstar are going to implement that attention to detail i hope so whether they will because it might affect the fun and enjoyability of the game 
I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Love your videos. Keep it up. When do you think we'll get the next GTA 6 trailer? I think we'll get the next GTA 6 trailer in probably May sort of time, April, May. What new mechanics are you most looking forward to? Uh, I'm looking forward to the mechanics that are built into the vehicle side of things. Like we saw from one of the leaks that the steering wheel can be adjusted and the cars can be fully like personalized in terms of seating position and everything. Really looking forward to that. I think that's just an extra edge that you can add to the game. Do you think aircraft will actually be fast in GTA 6? Um, I mean, they were in GTA GTA 5 like aircraft were really fast in GTA 5 maybe not realistically fast but you gotta remember like if they were realistically fast you'd get across the whole map in about five seconds so <laughs> yeah I don't know who are you most excited for Jason or Lucia uh probably Lucia because it's a female character that we haven't had as a main protagonist before be really interesting to see how Rockstar portray that and how they do it tastefully as well. Can you discuss what we know about GTA 6 Online? Nobody's put out much detail. Thanks, Cyber. Uh, yeah, I did a video about the servers and lobbies and stuff and the new way that they might try and do GTA Online um, based on a patent that was filed by Take-Two Interactive. You can watch that again in the top right-hand corner. Do you think they'll put chemtrails in the game making people sick just like how they do in real life? No, chemtrails don't really exist. It's just water vapor. <laughs> boxes of briefs uh all depends on the situation i actually have a subscription to these boxes that get delivered every month and they're really comfy let me go and get one one sec it's a company called on the ass and you pay like a subscription service and they just send you boxes and it's a lot easier than shopping for underwear really cool they also do socks and stuff as well you know what? i'm gonna reach out to them and ask them if they want to sponsor a video because I actually rate their products. Those ones aren't open yet because I ordered some extra ones, but. <laughs> With limited weapons on your person at a time, does this mean limited ammo? I hope so, because it would add an element of strategy. For example, if you carry less weapons, you can maybe carry more ammo. It would just add a more strategic approach to not only story mode, but also online. So I hope so. How extensive do you think car customization will be? For example, do you think we could see stuff like gear ratio tuning, engine tuning, suspension tuning, like in Forza, or would it be more basic like GTA 5? I'm hoping it will be a bit more like Forza. At the end of the day, Grand Theft Auto Auto is named after stealing cars like fundamentally it is a game themed around the vehicles obviously that's changed a lot over time but i do think that the car customization in gta 5 although was absolutely incredible and way above anything we've seen before it's also 10 years old so i'm hoping that we can see some new different mechanics built into the game and new possible ways that we can actually modify our vehicles so i'm hoping we can adjust cars for acceleration versus top speed gear ratios and all of that stuff i hope so anyway since rockstar cancelled bully to an agent do you think some of their mechanics or systems made into other games like GTA 5, Red Dead Redemption 2, and will possibly make it in GTA 6. Mm, yes and no. So I think some of those mechanics may have appeared in like GTA 5, but you gotta remember these games were cancelled in like the early 2000s. <laughs> like these weren't cancelled a year ago or two years ago. These were games that were just like cancelled at some point in time. These aren't brand new games or new mechanics or systems they were working on. So I think that like if we did see it in any Grand Theft Auto game, it might have even been in GTA 4 um, or even San Andreas for that matter. So yeah. When GTA 5 released, they made an eye through app that can use to entertain chop etc do you think gta 6 will have something along those lines as well yes 1 million percent i think that rockstar are probably going to create their own social media app that we can use on our phones to share in-game content that's the most likely way i see them doing it and i think that's something that they will release prior to release of gta 6 or at least during the same period as the gta 6 release do you think world war 3 will start before gta 6 releases uh i don't know we're pretty close to world war 3 now aren't we like everything going on in the world it's, it's really sad isn't it have you been to the rockstar north headquarters in edinburgh no i haven't uh edinburgh even though I live in the UK, like people look at the UK on the map and go, it looks small. But Edinburgh is like 13, 14 hour drive away. And like, I don't really see the point in driving that far to go and stand outside a building. Rockstar actually have offices closer to me than that. They have offices that are like two hours away. In fact, they've got like, I think it's like four or five offices around the UK, but they're not advertised. They're not like, there's no logo or anything. They've got games testing and I think it's Lincolnshire. Um, which is a few hours away. Yeah, but no, I've never been. I know I've already asked you this on Discord, but I wanted to ask again on a personal opinion. What kind of forms of racing do you think would be in GTA 6? Street racing, drag racing, stock car racing like NASCAR, and maybe IndyCar slash Formula 1 racing. Do you think Rockstar put oval racing and have a parody of two of Florida's oval race tracks, such as Daytona International Speedway, Homestead Miami Speedway? I think that there will be more forms of racing, and if there isn't, Rockstar really need to go back to the drawing board. Because if they don't include different forms of racing, it's going to be extremely boring. The GTA GTA 5 races were always like a staple of GTA 5 online. So yeah, I hope we see more different forms of racing. Also, you mentioned in your last Q&A that you're a car enthusiast. When you had free time back then, did you watch any racing events such as NASCAR? I'm a big NASCAR fan and my favorite driver was Jeff Gordon. I'm also really excited to see this in GTA 6 possibly. Uh, people in the UK don't watch NASCAR like at all. It's not even on any of our TV channels. Uh, I don't think I've ever watched a NASCAR race. Formula 1 is like a religion to me. So whenever there's a race, 
on a Sunday. I'm always watching it, which is going to make doing this really difficult. But <laughs> yeah, Formula One is like a religion to me. Um, I'm obsessed with Formula One. My other question is what music are you using in the background of your videos? Are they your own or someone else's? Do you know the names of the music that you're using? Um, basically, it's like a massive like four hour long video of 80s synthwave um, where it's completely licensed and royalty free. Do you think the map will be colorful? When you say the map, do you mean the actual world itself or the physical map picture? I think the map picture will probably be the same as it's been for GTA 5, just because it's easier to read. Too many colors going on is a bit harder to read. That's why most maps are desaturated. But in terms of the actual world itself, I think it'd be very colorful. What kind of new franchise would you want from Rockstar after GTA 6? I want them to do a pirate game. Seeing how well that they replicated history in Red Dead Redemption 2, seeing them to do like a pirate themed game where you're like ocean based, that would be insane. And I would love that. I really doubt they'd ever do it, but still a cool thought. Keep up the good work, mate. Great channel. Thank you so much, Game with Dave. What a legend. And that's all for today's video. So thank you all so much for watching. Tomorrow's video is going to be pretty cool. And also I have a collaboration video coming out this week as well. So hopefully you all enjoy that. Please consider becoming a member of the channel. I'm currently working on introducing some new perks for channel members. They'll be coming in the next couple of days. But if you're a channel member, you get additional perks on my Discord. And of course, you get your own separate chat for live streams, which will be coming very soon. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.